I couldn't think of any hilarious intros to do. So here's a video of a hamster yawning. First up, the rather boxy heavyweight flipper known as Hexadecimator. Hexy D was a season 3 heavyweight rookie that made it all the way to the semifinals before getting destroyed by Son of Voyachi. He also won the season 3 Rumble. He finished Telefy's BattleBots with a 9 and 3 record, and he's probably best known for the stunt that he almost pulled off against Surgeon General. And since the season 4 and beyond Hexy D had that one thin flipper that we all saw, compared to the season 3 thick one, it might be considered cheating to have made two identical flippers in the front. But from flipbots that we've already seen on this game, we know one flipper just doesn't cut it sometimes. Oh my god! This is the first fight, and he's already pulling that stupid voodoo magic again. And it's gone! Really, nigga? Alright, where's my opponent? Um... Okay, where the hell is he? Really? Oh, shit! Well, shit! Apparently the first time wasn't a fluke. We better keep track of how many times that happens. Well, this is not what I had in mind for today. Respect my authority! <laughs> what? That's a better way to handle the dogs than Michael Vick did. Excuse me, who said you could take off my parts? Who do you think you are? I'm Rick James, bitch. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Now I'm heels open. On a more serious note, these flips could set the record for most rotations during a flip that were set by Bronco and Toro. That was easy. Fucking hell. Ooh, god damn, could I have a challenge, please? Great success. Alright, am I actually gonna get someone tough this time? Oh shit, no, please, I'm sorry, I take it back, I take it back! No, 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 no! God, it's starting. You think you could stop me? You think anyone could stop me? I'm too strong, I'm too powerful. No one can beat me, and I'm coming for you next. Give me your best shot. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. So, how realistic was Hexadecimator? I think he was really, really good. The little wedges I used at the end of the flipper made the whole thing look a little thicker than normal, even compared to the Season 3 format. But besides that, the appearance was great, he was flipping bots all over the place, the win-loss ratio was accurate, and he performed pretty well. So, A. There's, I can't get higher than an A. Next up, Razor Ripoff number 47, Overhaul. Overhaul is a clamp bot from the 2015 tournament made by a team of mainly Asian MIT students who thought giving their bot ears would be a good idea. They had the honor of fighting legend builders like Jim Smentowski and Don Hudson, as well as losing to the eventual champion, Bite Force. And also, this guy said in the comments that if I did Overhaul, he'd get Charles to do a retort video. So before we continue, hi Charles! Just remember, this is all good banter, but you can take as many shots at me as you want. Also, your bot may be a Razor ripoff, but it did something Chop could never do. Win. This bot was a real pain in the ass design. Because base plane anchors in this game limit how many parts you can put onto them, I was only able to make the beak as long as it is. I would have made it longer if it wasn't for that limit. And also, designing the body was a little bit difficult to get the little supportive spikes on either side in the front of the robot to look exactly how they were. So this is the best that I could come up with. Three tons of crush fat. Crushability fat. What? That's a dive! Ruffer didn't touch him! Okay, Snowtop, if you let me take off a wheel, I'll give you some chocolate. Chocolate? What? CHOCOLATE! Um, CHOCOLATE! Calm down! Stay, stay still! Let me take off a wheel! Let's put a smile on that face. They say it's part bird, part reptile, the coolest looking robot! Get to the oh my god! Do you see that? Let's look at that again! That's the best lift we will ever see from a clamp bot on this game! Completely control, take some notes! With the huge crushability factor and immediately grappling- You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off! No, I'm not running away like they did against Bite Force, I'm trying to get position. 
Hey, I need that. And that. Who would you look at that? It's a robotic train. Woo woo! Getting some booty is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. Hey! Grog! Hey, Grog! Wake up! Yes! Grog! You silly sleepy head, wake up! Grit! With the past bird beak, part reptilian jaw. Hey, what the fuck? What do you think, you locked jaw trying to get cheap shots on me? Fucking go in the pit, you cunt. So how realistic was the overhaul recreation? Well, we're not going off many fights since he's a new bot, but I still think he could have done a little bit better. Obviously, the appearance was a little bit difficult because there wasn't a lot of leeway for this game. The weapon did pretty well. It was taken off a decent amount of parts, and overhaul actually got a couple good clamps during the tournament. The recreated version won more fights than he should have, but as for his performance, he was aggressive, he was getting in people's faces, so it wasn't bad. He gets a C, so there's room for improvement. As you can see... I know that was terrible, I'm sorry. Hey, you! Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment on the BattleBot's name below. Right, be careful, Mark, you're facing emergency. It's dangerous! Yes, very! Get away! Oh, oh shit. Fuck you! Ah, fucking damn it. Fuck you! Come on! Piece of shit!